All right. I know it's been a while since I've shot uh, anything, but um, what we are going to do today is take this beautiful pork belly and start curing it to make bacon. So a lot of people don't know bacon comes from uh, the belly of the pig because that's where all of the fat and the awesomeness comes from. So, hope everyone had a great Easter. We are finally kind of getting the house in order and making it so that uh, we can actually do some filming in here. So, Put this beauty on some paper towels, and I've got some extras here for my hands. So what you want to do, I always do a little bit of trimming. Get some more paper towels here. But not a whole lot, um, because I want as much of this fat as I can because that is what makes some really great bacon. So, like I said, trim a little bit of the fat. Oh yeah. So we have a local source for uh, getting these beautiful pork bellies. And uh, I know we used to go and get them uh, directly from our local Sam's Club, but they stopped selling pork belly for some strange reason. So what I'm doing here is the areas that are just giant chunks of only fat, I'm trying to cut some of that off. Get a couple Ziploc bags and we're going to kind of cut these into sections. Um, Making your own bacon is pretty easy, actually. Um, I really don't understand why more people don't do it. But, it is what it is. So, I'm going to go right about there. Probably do these into thirds, which means I am going to need another Ziploc. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is going to make some awesome bacon. A little bit more trimming right here. Hey man, that is going to be awesome. All right, and to, just to make sure that these guys fit in the bag. All right, so uh, the cure that I've used, um, the last few years to make bacon is really kind of just a very basic, basic cure. Um, it's got brown sugar, it's got um, salt, brown sugar, um, then the curing salt, and then it also has a little bit extra curing salt in there and I always put a little bit of paprika just for color so um, the reason I'm putting on gloves and fighting because my hands are still moist from uh, rinsing them off is 
Oh, nice. Tap. That didn't work very good. So when you're doing stuff on a ranch, um, you always end up with little cuts and stuff all over your hands. And when you're dealing with something that has a lot of salt, getting that stuff in your hands, not real fun. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just a very basic cure. So, we take our Ziploc bag. And I'll roll this up because the cats will probably think I am the best. So, we're going to take our various cuts and when this gets done curing, which it'll take, um, I usually leave mine in the cure for at least a week. You know, longer is always better. But you can slice your bacon um, basically however you want. This guy's going to be tighter than a frog butt. You can use a meat slicer for it. Um, or you can hand slice it. I've, I've done it both ways. It kind of depends on, you know, what I'm wanting out of, you know, that particular uh, cut of pork belly. You take one of your bags. And you just start putting your cure on and really kind of rub it in everywhere. And what these cures do is they help dry out the meat. I always take um, after the curing process is done I will take these guys and throw them in the smoker and smoke them for, um, oh, two, three hours. As things cure, it will shrink up a little bit. And the other thing to note is that through this process, you will get a lot of moisture. And that is perfectly normal. Just wanna make sure it's really well coated. And you don't have to get all of the air out, but you know, the more you get out, the better. And again, just kind of really making sure that we get that cure really kind of rubbed in. And now during the curing process, when it's in your fridge, every couple of days, you're gonna want to flip these bags because that way the juices that mix with your cure really get into both sides of the meat. I also, Highly recommend over there putting things on a tray. That way, in case the bags leak, 
you don't have to clean your fridge out. The recipe, a third of a cup kosher salt, a third of a cup of um, brown sugar, a teaspoon of your just Morton's um, curing salt or Prague salt, um, which is like your per, um, pink salt. Um, you can also put in, um, we usually do uh, a two tablespoons of black pepper. And it sounds like it would be overkill on the pepper, but as you'll see through this process, when our two weeks is done, we will um, be rinsing these guys off. And when we do that, we'll lose a lot of the pepper that's on there. So, And always do this process before you clean your um, floors because you're going to end up vacuuming again. Just checking, making sure that these guys are fairly well coated. So this recipe, I ended up because it was kind of a larger pork belly ended up doubling things and that's the nice thing about a lot of this stuff is you can kind of make up your own as you go and figure out okay this works this doesn't you lay these flat that's all there is to it uh, these guys will go in the fridge for about two weeks and then at the end of the two weeks we'll be hey you guys how are you all right, so it's been about two weeks since we've had the pork belly in the cure. The next step in things is going to be um, rinsing off the pork belly. And then we will get them in the smoker. And as, as I suggested before, was to definitely put them on a baking sheet or baking tray, something of that nature, because these bags do tend to leak a little bit. So, so when I rinse things off, I'm not rinsing every thing off. I, I guess I end up rinsing about half of what's on here off. Because I don't want to rinse everything off. Because I still want some of that seasoning to still be there. So this is just a nice basic, basic cure. You know, making your own bacon is really easy and one of the things I like about being able to do our own bacon is I can decide how thick I want my slices because you know I don't know about you guys but I'm not a thin bacon guy, you know, when I want bacon, damn it, I want bacon. Um, so I like my bacon to be a little bit thicker. Um, so the next step in the process is to get the stuff into the smoker. Um, I use a pellet smoker. Um, my recipe is going to be a little bit different from anyone else's. I do 225 
for about four to six hours. Um, you know, you just want to kind of impart smoke into the pork belly. So, um, that's the next step. So, we'll go out to the smoker. We'll get these guys uh, into the smoke. And we'll kind of go from there. Alright, so, it's been about four hours since we had things uh, in the smoker. So I just pulled everything, and what we do now is we just wrapped everything in tin foil, as you can see. And we are just going to let it rest, and then um, probably tomorrow we will come in and we will hand slice it up and see what the stuff looks like so catch you tomorrow all right hey good morning all right so yesterday we ended up smoking our um pork belly for about four and a half hours so i went a little bit longer but not by much so what we do is with our pork belly and our pork shoulders when we smoke shoulders is when we pull them off the smoker we double wrap them in tin foil and then we have a towel that is known as the barbecue towel and it smells absolutely heavenly um so, you have it double wrapped in your tin foil, and then we wrap it in this towel, and then put it in a cooler to rest. And the resting time, you know, isn't anything, like, specific. Um, this one actually ended up resting, you know, overnight, and, you know, it's, it's still warm. So, um, you know, those coolers are amazing. So, we will start to kind of unwrap things here. And, oh man. Can already see all the juices from it sweating. Oh man. If you guys could smell this right now, it is amazing. Oh my gosh. All right, let me grab some gloves here. So this is, our recipe is a fairly salty bacon. Um, it's not like the bacon you get at the grocery store. Um, you know, I don't know what it is, but that stuff is just different. You know, I'm not saying it's bad if that's, you know, the only thing that you have access to. But sometimes, you know, doing your own bacon the old ways... It's just better. I'm sorry. All right. Let's see what we have here. All right. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel here. And what we're gonna do is now I, I like my bacon 
a little bit thicker. Some people like thin bacon, some people like thick bacon. I like thick bacon. I also don't cut things the longest way. I end up cutting it the shortest way. And the reason for that is, one, it fits in pans better. Um, you know, a lot of times we're putting our bacon on sandwiches and stuff like that, and it doesn't hang out over the bread as much. So, um, you know, that's just the way we do things. So, what I do, and I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit, is we end up cutting things a little bit thicker, and I am going to actually put stuff back on that. So, so we're just going to slice it. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks amazing. Here's, here's a good one to show you guys. So you got your nice smoke ring on that. And I mean, this bacon is, it's just awesome. I love it. All right, so. So yeah, um, about four hours or so in the smoker, and uh, for anyone that's inter interested, uh, the smoker we use is uh, from Z Grills, and we've had it, oh, probably about a year. Um, worked out great so far for us um, my wife ended up getting it on some kind of discount or something but um, but yeah so um, as you can tell um, this is a farmhouse plain plain and simple um, you know if you're Expecting a house that is completely spotless, then watch videos from Joanna Gaines. Because that's not real life. Real life with kids, with the six-year-old, is a house that's in constant disarray. A house that is constantly looking like a hurricane came through. And, you know, you know, it is what it is. So, um, but, you know, it works for us. Um, you know, just trying to show you guys a little bit of what a real farmhouse is like. Um, how we do things, um, on our farm. You know, uh... I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's not going to be all butterflies and rainbows and all of that kind of crap. Um, so, yeah. 